Right, I'm going to show you how to scoop fuel. Uh, a lot of people have problems with this. I've seen loads of videos on it and I must admit I find some of the techniques used are not ones that I would use myself. Um, I've developed this technique based on what other people have shown me and some things I've figured out for myself over the time I've been playing the game. Um, the main thing is to have a safe way of doing it. I know a lot of noobs, they crash into the stars and can't figure out why they keep overheating and that sort of thing. So I'm hoping that I can explain some of those things. So, first of all, you can see I'm running a bit low on fuel, so I need to get, get some. Um, but the first thing is, if you look in the middle of my screen, there's an orange dot. That's called the mouse widget. That's a great aid to fuel scooping. So you need to switch it on and you'll find it in the options in the controls under mouse mouse controls and it's called the mouse widget show mouse widget make it on so obviously two options on or off so you want it on and then it will just put that dot in the middle of your screen so that's um, right so anyway, let's just do this so that's exactly the front of your ship where you're pointing all the time. So that's where you're going to go. So when I put that right in the middle of there, I know I'm pointing directly at LTT 15574. So here we go then. Uh, we're going to jump to LTT 15574 and then uh, scoop there. Frameshift drive charging. So uh, you'll see it's class type M that just briefly appeared on the top right of the Four, HUD. That's three, a scoopable two, uh, star. One, the engage. scoopable ones are KGB FOAM, KGB foam. That's nice and easy to remember. None of the other ones are. So um, you know, obviously it's got to be one of one of those. So here we come now. Uh, you drop out at the star zero throttle and as soon as you start moving you'll see a yellow ring appear. Did you see it there? It's gone again. I've stopped. So I'm at zero throttle at the moment. I am moving forward but not enough to bring that yellow line up. That yellow line you mustn't go inside. So let's bring it up again. You mustn't go there. Now I'm a bit, little bit Keep away. Sleeping. We're getting... Because oh, I'm approaching the star now because I'm moving forward. I'm now starting to scoop. So. If you look at my heat, it's 55, and it'll stay there all day like this. Now, every fuel scoop is different. You know, what size, what grade you've got, and um, that affects the rate at which you can scoop fuel and how much heat you get. Now, if you scoop fuel too fast, you overheat. If you go inside that line, you crash into the star. So that's the only two things you've got to look out for. I'm quite safe here. I'm scooping a little bit of fuel, not very much. It's going to take me a long time like this. So what you do, just go forward a bit. Just open your throttle a little bit and watch that rate go up. So I'm going to go up to... Be careful, because it takes a while to slow down again. So now I'm scooping at 29. So I can look at my heat, and it's staying pretty well fixed on 57 degrees. So I'm not, not in any danger until I get up in the 90s for temperature so I'm going to go forward a little bit more just close to this line as, you know, I can go as close as I like but not inside of it so now I'm 35 and you see my temperatures crept up to 59 so I'm scooping at a higher rate but if I stop here at zero throttle then the temperature's still stable at 59 so I've got a little bit more 46 now it's gone up to 62 but it looks like it's stable again. So I know that I can scoop any amount up to 46 so far. Oops, solar flare there. It's unusual. Just move away a bit. Got a bit flaring on me. So 50. So you only have to do this bit once to understand what the rate is for your fuel scoop because it'll be the same at every star. You you. Things are slightly different each uh, star, but the one thing that doesn't change is the temperature stability for the rate at which you're scooping. So 
So now I'm going up to 63. And that's still stable with this one. That higher temperature. 70. 66. So I'm okay at least up to 70. So just about 75, 69 percent heat. So that's stable. Finally. Fuel scooping complete. Oh, full up now. But that would have been more than 75. And I'm on 73 degrees. Now that's increasing. 76. Slowly. But it did go up. 78. So if I carried on at 75, my temperature would gradually increase. But it's only increasing slowly. Now on some other ships with other fuel scoops, that goes up much more rapidly. So what you need to do is find the maximum rate that you can scoop whilst that temperature stays stable. And once you've found that, you just come to the star, increase your, your, your speed, and try and stop when that gets to that rate, bearing in mind it does take you a while to slow down. And then you can sit there scooping to your heart's uh, content without any danger and then just fly away from the star. So your temperature's still going up. But one other thing, if you're expecting to be interdicted, what you can do is turn your tail towards the star. You know, it has a occasional effect. There's the star behind me now. Because when they interdict you, they got to go um, get behind you to interdict you and it can send them into the star but I, I think that used to work quite well but recently they seem to have wised up to that so they seem better at getting you from behind now so 97 I'm going to overheat and start taking damage so I'm just going to fly away from the star now fuel scoop disengaged uh, fuel scoop disengaged that's it the end of uh, heating now I can, I can get on my way to wherever I want to go so, th so that's it. So just drop in at zero throttle, look out for that yellow line, put your dot on and just move towards the yellow line with your dot outside it and see what um, fuel, fuel rate you can scoop until your temperature starts increasing and then use that as the guide for next time you do it. Just go a little bit less and your temperature stays stable. You can sit there all the time and um, that's that's it. Obviously, if you only w what some people do, they just scoop a bit at each star. So in that case, your temperature going up doesn't matter. You can just come in, glide around the, s the star. We'll, we'll do that. Um, yeah, let's do that now. What, I'll, what I'm going to do... I'll go to a uh, further away star so I can do it again. So, normally when you're en route to somewhere, Frameshift drive charging. Um, you might only want to scoop for a short time and scoop, you know, if you're scooping enough that you've covered for your next jump. You can um, just scoop round it as you, you go on to the next one. Four, three, two, one. So, Engage. because your temperature is going up reasonably slowly, um, you can just get round the star and on your way before you start taking heat damage. So I'm zero throttle now. Just in case it's yeah, the bad star. Right, so I just point my, my widget outside the line. Fuel scooping. Your destination will be round the other side of it anyway. So I'm full throttle now. I've gone up to the maximum. My temperature's heating. You can just turn the thing to the left a little bit to stay close. See so the temperature's going up. By that time, say that was the, the system I wanted. Disappoint at it. Rate goes down. Fuel scoop disengaged. Uh, fuel scoops disengage. Then you can engage your frame shift drive. Never engage it when you're scooping. You'll overheat. So that's it. Easy as that. So I hope that you found that of use and um, might see you in another video.